This video will take you through the first principles of differentiation. That's the first look at calculus in the C1 course. In our previous studies, we've looked at gradients of straight lines. Now we'll look at gradients of curves. The curve does not have a constant gradient. Everywhere on the curve, the gradient is different, steeper here than it is here. An approximation to the gradient at any point can be found by drawing a chord. The closer together two points are on the line, the closer the gradient of the chord becomes to the gradient of the tangent. In this diagram, AB is a chord, AC is a chord, and XY is a tangent. The gradient of AC is closer to the gradient of the curve at A than the gradient of AB because the distance between A and C horizontally has become smaller. If we make two points become closer and closer together on the curve, then we get a chord which becomes closer and closer to the tangent. In mathematics, dx is a notation for standing for a little tiny bit of x. The correct symbol is delta. Delta x means a small increment in the x direction. This can be thought of as a slightly awkward notation and it's perfectly acceptable to use the letter h in any first principles proof. So, to find the gradient of the tangent, let's sum up. We need to find the gradient of a chord and then make the extra little bit become really, really tiny. That means two points on the curve become closer and closer together. And this is called differentiation from first principles. So, let's state again what differentiation actually is. Differentiation is finding the gradient of a tangent to a curve at a particular point. And the derivative is written as dy over dx. So using first principles differentiation, we will use our knowledge of gradient. The gradient of a straight line is the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. So the gradient of our straight line, which is called a chord, is also the difference in the y's over the difference in the x's. Now this may look a little bit confusing. So if we just think about it, on the numerator, f of x plus delta x is the y coordinate when the x coordinate is x plus delta x. f of x is the y coordinate when the x coordinate is x. On the denominator, the difference in the x coordinates is x plus delta x take away x and of course that just leaves us with delta x. So the denominator is the difference in the x coordinates. What we're doing is taking a limit. We need to make delta x become very, very small. So the gradient of the chord becomes closer and closer to the gradient of the tangent as delta x tends to zero. We come across our definition of first principles differentiation. dy dx is the limit as delta x tends to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all divided by delta x. More formally written mathematical symbols dy dx is the limit as delta x tends to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. If you're not familiar with the function notation, then it will become more clear in the next video where I'll show you an example of differentiation from first principles of a past paper question.